Hi, this is Ogie with Visual Impact and in this video we'll do a quick demo of some of the functionality of the Atom Mini Extreme ISO. This is part 2 of our quick overview video which you can find linked below in case you missed it. Here we have a simple two camera setup with an A7S Mark III as camera A overhead on the switcher and a Sony FX6 as camera B which is focused on Nikki who's helping me with switching and demo duties for this video. On the right side we have a MacBook Pro for the Atom control software and HDMI out one going out to a TV logic monitor with multi-view on the left with each of the four boxes giving us each camera input, super source on the bottom left box and a clean feed on the lower right. Moving on to the front of the switcher, the top left is reserved for controlling the audio coming in mic 1 or mic 2 in addition to a headphone output. The multi-view is an exceptional feature uh, ported from the top of the range constellation switchers. Uh, you can have up to 16 feeds on the screen at the same time in a 4x4 configuration, all of which can be configured in the Atom software. Moving over to the middle of the switcher, the top row is reserved for the select bus, which has two rows with sources on top and the destinations on the bottom row. So you can route each of the HDMI inputs, color generators or effects in real time to various keyers, DVEs, transitions and a lot more. One of the key features uh, of the extreme models is the four upstream and two downstream keyers, which are great for virtual studios when using green screen for different camera angles, for example. You also get six picture-in-picture -picture DVEs. Uh, this is great because a uh, picture-in-picture is very useful. It can be used in any sort of streaming situation. You get a second source over the current video source superimposed in a small box. And the cool thing is that you can actually adjust the size of the box and you can also reposition. An upgrade from the Mini Pro, the Extreme models now have two HDMI outputs, both of which can be used as AUX outputs and have video routed through them via the Atom software. HDMI Out 1 also has dedicated routing buttons on the right side of the switcher, while HDMI Out 2 can be done uh, from the software. The Extreme ISO can also trigger recording from Blackmagic Pocket Cinema cameras, and then you can use the internal 4K or 6K footage to replace the 1080p recordings from the switcher in the DaVinci Resolve file, which can save you quite a lot of time and is a very useful feature if you plan to clip content from the stream and then post it on uh, YouTube or any other social media. Switching between the 8 HDMI inputs is quite easy and quick. Just pick the input that you want to switch and use either the cut or auto transition on the right side of the switcher where you can also find various transition and duration presets including mix and dip. Navigating through the Atom control software is also quite intuitive. Our control is separated into four tabs with program, preview and transition on the first tab and then dedicated tabs for media, audio and camera control. Another major feature brought over from the larger top of the range switchers is SuperSource which you can think of as four DVEs wrapped up into one, which means it doesn't tie up the other two DVEs, giving you a total of six. SuperSource, as you can see on the left side here on the monitor, can be very useful for multi-guest podcasts, for example, and it also supports background and foreground graphics, all of which you can change in the Atom software. Both Atom Mini Extreme models also get two media players. You can store up to 20 stills. Now there's no video yet, maybe it's something that we'll get in a future update, I really don't know, it would be actually very nice. Uh, you can use these for backgrounds, logos, and uh, other images you need for your live streaming presentation. 
Overall, the Atom Mini Extreme and Extreme ISO are significant upgrades to the Mini Pro, and you can really elevate your live streams, video podcasts, or events with some of the most advanced features ported over from Blackmagic's high stand switchers. And that's it for this one. Uh, as usual, like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.